It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything. You can see it on the tube or a screen. I like to get around here and give my unique perspective, because after... 47 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a new perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I'd like to get on tab about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Staten Island, New York. We got some plays over in Staten Island this past week. Gracias. Gratitude. Todo va. In Staten Island, the first thing I think about when I hear Staten Island is Shaolin, Wu-Tang Clan. I'm a huge, huge, big fan of the Wu-Tang Clan. I'll be honest, part of the reason I do this podcast and part of the reason I rhyme and rap is because of the Wu-Tang. They were very influential on my craft and what I do as a, as a creator. Very cool, got some plays over in Staten Island, Shaolin, awesome. And just FYI, back in the day I went to school to be a radio DJ, but I've got a child. I think I've got a child. Because I just didn't have the belief. If I would have believed in becoming a radio DJ, then maybe that would enable me to become a radio DJ. But it didn't. It allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Subject to debate might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is... Facts, not facts, true, false, propaganda, fake news, the matrix, juice, water, Kool-Aid, soda, pop, energy drinks, tea, leche, milk. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be aware, just watch out. Anyways, it's going to ramble you all day, but it won't. Let's get right into podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I rap. And way back in 2020, the day before the pandemic went into effect, at least in my region, I dropped the album Glitch in the Matrix, featuring the track called Mastery Achieve Through Time. So this is like from three years ago. It was heavily influenced by the events prior to the pandemic. So if you want to hear my last project created before the pandemic hit, Hear the track Master Chief Through Time. I'll put the link below so you can hear me rapping, rhyming, only the way the captain can over dope underground beats. So I'll put the link below. Check it out. Now, let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And it's a beautiful day. It's sunny outside. People in my neighborhood, they're cutting down trees and trimming branches because we had a storm a few weeks ago and we're still recovering. A lot of my neighbors are still recovering from that storm. It was a lot of chaos, a lot of destruction, to be real. And we're still we're still recovering from that. We're still feeling the after effects. Mother Nature can be a beast at times. So I respect Mother Nature for real. Okay, but, but they're doing it. They're recovering. They're getting back to where they were before. It's very cool. I, I like that. I like seeing that. We're getting back to where we were. Very cool. It's a nice day to do that. Right? I cut the grass this morning again. You know, I made some food. I had some oatmeal with some blueberries and some almond milk it was so good so you know just the simple pleasures of life make me happy right like a bowl of oatmeal in the morning i know it may sound crazy it sound wild like people out here living their best life and they're traveling overseas and they're riding the bugattis and you know they, they got all these big wads of cash holding to the ear and they got all types of shoes and i'm not knocking those lifestyles that's cool that's awesome very cool and some people live that way but over here the captain has a nice warm bowl of oatmeal with berries in it and almond milk and i'm very satisfied it was so delicious so good just to sit in quiet and peace and eat my oatmeal <laughs> right you may think captain what are you talking about 
um, as you get older, you kind of discover to appreciate the smaller things. So anyways, that's what's going down in the captain's world. And today, in fact, after I had my nice great bowl of oatmeal and went out and bought my groceries for the week, I got to see a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a while now. There's a lot of hype behind this movie. A lot of awards are given out. It's science fiction. It's been on my radar. I just haven't had the time or the ability to check this movie out. But finally today, I got to experience the movie called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. And ladies and gentlemen, let me just say this. It was absolutely a masterpiece. And if you've seen this already, you probably know this. But a lot of times going into movies where there's a lot of hype, you don't know necessarily if the hype is real. There was a lot of hype behind this movie. I didn't know what to expect. Now, I know Michelle Yeoh's in it, and I love Michelle Yeoh, especially her on Star Trek uh, Discovery. She's a phenomenal actress. Even going way back to those old kung fu flicks or karate flicks. I've always loved her. I always thought she was cool. So I, I was pretty sure it would be dope. And I expected it would be, but you never know until you walk the path until you experience it. And after experiencing everything, everywhere, all at once, it is its absolute masterpiece. And in addition to being a masterpiece, not only was it a masterpiece to the captain, but it was also absolute madness. I throw the term madness around a lot on these podcasts because I don't even know how to describe some of the things I'm watching. It's such chaotic craziness. I just call it madness. And I mean that in the best possible way. When I say madness, I don't mean it as derogatory. I mean it as unpredictable, exciting, emotional, entertaining, great, fantastic. That is what madness means to me. And I throw it around a lot. But this year, from what I've watched all year, there's been a lot of madness on the screen, what I've said many times. But this particular movie, so far all year, October, of everything I've seen, this has have to be the king, the champion of madness on the screen. It was absolute, utter madness. And I was so there for it. I was so entertained. I so loved it. It was so unpredictable. I didn't know what was going to happen. It was great. This is one of the best science fiction movies that's been released in a, since, the, since 2020. Even going back before that. When the decade's all over, and when I'm still doing these podcasts, and I do the best of the decade in 2029, 2030, and when it's time to do the best of the decade again, this is going to be in the running. I know we're still early. I know we're only 2023. I know there's like seven years left in the decade. I know there's a lot of things on the screen to be watched. A lot of movies are going to come out. A lot of TV shows are going to happen in the next seven years. A lot of things on the screen. Some things I can't even imagine, predict. Yeah, it'll happen. But even though we're early in the decade, I, I foresee like 2030, best of the decade, this is going to be in the running. It was that groundbreaking. It was that entertaining. It was that different than what I've already seen. In addition, this is definitely top of the list for best of the year. I've seen a lot of things this year, and I'm already starting to think of best of the year because we're already going to move into October, September, October. So I'm starting to think, what's the best of the year? Yeah, this is this is top of the stack. It's, it's in the top five for sure. This is definitely going to be in competition for the best of the year. Right, for sure. And like I said, even best of the decade. It was that groundbreaking of a movie. And in the future, when we reflect on movies from the 20s to the 30s, this has got to be in the list, right? There's been a lot of things produced, a lot of movies. But when I'm looking for greatest of years and decades, it's got to be some original, you know, something not done, some, some, something unpredictable, not like the normal routine things we get. And this definitely is that. I see why I got all the awards. I see why I got all the intentions. Because sometimes art comes out, right, that is so groundbreaking, so superb of a masterpiece, that it just it just gets mainstream acceptance. This feels like an indie flick, right? It doesn't feel mainstream at all. It feels indie-ish. It feels very indie. It feels like almost this shouldn't have got the awards because of how indie it feels. But it's just that superb and moving and emotional of a movie. You could, it could not be denied. I say a lot of times in these podcasts, if something's so great, it just cannot be denied. I got that from Tom Billy, but the concept, I feel it sound. Right? If something comes through that's so good, it cannot be denied. Right? And this is one of those films. It was so good, you couldn't deny it. Oh, it's about multiverse. Yeah, it's science fiction. Yeah, it's craziness. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It was so good, it could not be denied. And that's why all the awards were given out. Right? Michelle Yeoh is hot right now. 
And I'm so glad that one of her next projects coming up is going to be Star Trek Section 31. I mean, she could have picked whatever she wanted to do. She could have chose probably any project, anything she wanted to do. She could have chose whatever. And she's choosing, electing to do a little more Star Trek. I'm very thankful for that. To see her talents once again in the Star Trek universe. Yeah, she, she, she's so wonderful on that role she played in there. And it's cool that even though she's got all these awards, even though she's the it lady right now, very high profile because she do whatever she wants, she's still choosing to engage in Star Trek. I appreciate that. She, she's a real one right there. So anyways, the movie is fantastic. If you still have not seen this, the hype is real. Check it out. Even if you're not into sci-fi, multiverse, all that, you probably will still enjoy it. It's very emotional. And be honest with you guys, I teared up towards the end. There was moments at the end of the film that was very emotional. And I was tearing up. The, the tears were flowing. I'll be real. I was laughing. I was screaming, this is madness. And at the end, to close out the show, I was tearing up. It was absolutely beautiful. It was a roller coaster emotions. I loved it. Now, before I sign off, I wanted to get into a couple things about the flick. One of the themes or ideas or things said or the, the vibes from the movie is that nothing matters. Like everything we're doing, it does not matter. Nothing matters. Now, interestingly enough, this week, when I was sitting around brainstorming and thinking and pondering, a lot of times what I do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'll sit in my casa and I'll sit around and I'll just think about ideas, ponder, you know, just trying to get ideas for songs and podcasts and different creative endeavors. And I'll just sit around and let my mind go and flow. I'll talk it out loud, I'll talk in the mirror, I'll talk to AI, I'll, I'll just speak them, I'll write them, I let ideas flow. And in the flows of ideas, I kind of revisited nihilism. I kind of revisited that nothing matters. I was just thinking of this week. And, you know, end of the week, I'm watching the movie that really speaks on that. And to be honest, maybe you've had that idea. Maybe you've thought that. I don't know how old you are. I don't know where you live. But maybe you've thought that. You know, the mundaneness of the everyday routine. Getting up, making breakfast, you know, washing clothes, washing dishes, Paying bills, paying taxes, washing your car, cooking dinner, getting groceries, ironing your pants, drying your pants, you know, cleaning your shoes, <laughs> cleaning your house, cleaning your bathroom, raking your yard, mowing your lawn, you know, doing this, doing these tasks that we do over and over again, right? Over and over, you know, going to, out on a Friday night, going to the same place, doing the same thing, sitting on a table, talking about the same stuff, watching the same games over and over again. Right? Same football team, same thing over and over again. The groundhog dayness of it, right? I mean, there was a moment of time in my 20s where I just kind of seen that and observed all that and was aware of it. Like, what does it all matter? Like, what's, what's the point? Like, you just keep doing this over and over. And maybe you've seen that. And now this is not meant to be negative or nothing like that. I'm not trying to put negativity out there or say it doesn't mean anything. I'm just making an observation that, that life will be like that. And if you've been around for a while, maybe you saw it young, maybe you've seen it later. I kind of seen it really young. And as a young person, I had a hard time handling and dealing with it, right? And it just really hit me hard. Some of the movies I saw kind of, you know, where it raised that awareness. And I just became very aware of it. And it was really, it really hit me. It shocked me. And it really, it, it kind of changed my life in a, in a way after discovering it. And, you know, I kind of forgot about it a little bit. But, you know, but the years have passed. And I kind of reminded myself in the last few years and remembered kind of like that feeling of like, what does it all matter? And, 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 the, and the thing about it is, like, maybe you've seen that. Maybe you think that. Maybe you feel that. Maybe you feel that a lot. Maybe a lot of us are feeling that a lot. Maybe the reason society is so lonely and happy and all this is because they're realizing, like, bro, the same loop of things day in and day out. Like, who cares? What does it matter? Maybe, maybe we're all becoming nihilists because the philosophy of nihilism, which I think is by Nietzsche, I believe, I'm not really sure on that, is kind of that. And in the movie, they tackle this. In the movie, the villain is talking about this. In the movie, this, this is what the villain's talking about. This is what the philosophy the villain is embracing. This is what they're thinking, right? They're just like, what does that matter? I've experienced every possible version of the multiverse, every version of myself, every choice, every possibility. And like, in the end, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? What choice, what gets done? It all doesn't matter. In the end, right? It doesn't matter, bro. It's irrelevant, right? And I've thought about it, and I've kind of pondered that. And it's interesting, this week, I kind of did think that a little bit, right? But, but you know, but then, but then I remembered, right? I remember that even, even that even that being said, maybe we feel that. And I was talking to a good friend of mine, and she was talking about her husband, and talking about her husband just lacked purpose. 
her husband which had a lot of time on the side and just didn't have purpose she was telling me my husband needs purpose and I saw another movie back in the day that really emphasized that life is about purpose maybe I don't know I'm not a philosopher sir. I'm not a scientist this may be true this might not be true maybe different beliefs about it but as someone that does art on a regular basis I believe my life's purpose is doing art creativity art it's what I do I love it even though I do it the day in and day out same thing over and over again the, 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 the feeling of creating and new things and, and taking new ideas and putting them together and do it sonically with vocals and, and words and palavras for my Portuguese friends you know it's just it's, it's, I, I find it enjoyable so even though the mundane task of doing laundry cooking food buying groceries all these things I don't want to talk badly like, like I don't appreciate that because honestly another way to look at it too is like yeah you get to do these things. You 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 have the privilege of experiencing these mundaneness, right? Because there's some people that would love to experience that mundanity. Is that a real world? It might not be. I don't even know. But there's just some people out there that would just love to be able to do that, right? You may be doing these routines day in and day out, and they may seem repetitive and mundane. But there's people out there who just love to have that mundaneness, that stability, that same day in and day out routine to get to do things that you do on a regular basis. And so I always think that, I always have gratitude, like, yeah, I'm doing these dishes. And I've done these dishes a million times over and over again. And the dishes keep getting dirty. And I keep doing them. And I keep washing them. And I'm like, what's the point? What's the meaning? Like, oh, my gosh, right? Just remember, if you have a sink of dirty dishes, that means you ate. Right? If you got a, a lot of dishes, dirty dishes in your sink, it means you ate a lot. That means you ate today. There's some human beings on planet Earth that did not eat today at all. Right? Did not have a sink full of dirty dishes because they did not eat. Didn't even have a place to put their dishes. Didn't even have a sink. Didn't even have a water. Had no food, right? They would just love to have the routine of having dirty dishes and having food in their stomach. Three meals a day, right? Did you have three meals a day? Did you have dirty dishes? And you are blessed. Yeah, it's mundane. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's repetitive. Sometimes it's Groundhog's Day. But I look at it like we are blessed that we ate today. We have to clean the dishes because we ate Right? Yeah, you're mowing the lawn. We can we complain about mowing the lawn, bro. But you got a lawn to mow. There's some people that just love to have a lawn to mow, bro. And this is the way you gotta look at it. Like that. These mundane tasks, he's doing, doing laundry too. I gotta wash these clothes. Bro, you got clothes to wash. You got a place to wash your clothes. I and mean, you gotta flip the you gotta flip the narrative, flip the perspective to appreciate and have gratitude. So I just feel having gratitude, having purpose. Will, will make life mean a little bit more in the in in a, in, in, a, in a life that we might perceive as nothing matters. You know, maybe nothing does matter. Maybe what matters is what you make it. I don't know. I'm still figuring this out. I'm 47 years old. I read a lot of books. I've listened to a lot of podcasts. I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of people in all different walks of life. Thought about a lot of different things. Did a lot of art. Did a lot of this, this, and that. And I'm still figuring it out, bro. I'm still trying to figure out this whole life thing. I feel that no matter how far down the timeline, no matter how old we get, we never going to have it all figured out, right? You're 20, you got a long way to go. You're my age, you got a long way to go. You're 60, 70, you still got a long way to go. We ain't never figured it out till we're dead, bro. Death, may, and even, maybe even death, we don't figure it all out. I don't know. This is all brand new situation to me. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure it out along the way. And if you're listening to this podcast, you probably are too. And what the purpose of this podcast, what the goal of this podcast is to explore the infinite possibilities of existence through art, through TV, movies, sports, flicks, things on the screen, Facebook, Instagram, you know, podcast, you know, let's explore all the infinite possibilities. Let's grow a little bit. Let's expand a little bit. Let's have some gratitude. Let's have appreciation. Let's learn. Let's have joy. Let's have fulfillment. These are the goals, bro. If you long for that ride, keep on listening. Keep on riding, bro, because we're going to explore that. We're going to just get a little bit happier. A little bit smarter, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, a little bit better by pursuing excellence and growth, growth mindsets. Are you ready to get there? Huh? Are you ready? Come along for the journey. This is where this podcast is going. It's boldly going where no podcast has gone before. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. But I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for exploring these ideas with me. I love doing these podcasts. After seeing this movie, going on the emotional roller coaster, it just gives me a greater appreciation for being alive being a human being and appreciating all the things I get to experience as a human being. There's so many things we experience in life that we just take for granted. Like I said at the beginning of the podcast, I just had an extreme amount of gratitude for that delicious oatmeal with blueberries 
and almond milk in it. It was great. I just I just eating it. It was quiet. It was silent during the morning. It was cool. I wasn't too hot. I wasn't too cold. I was just eating the oatmeal. I appreciate it. It was lovely. I went to get my grocery at the grocery store. I appreciate it. It was fun. I was blessed to get groceries. Like, I mean, seriously, if we fundamentally switch our perspective, our life can be a little bit better. I'd like to believe this is true. So thanks for listening. I know I was in my soapbox. I do that quite a bit in these podcasts. But this is where the mind goes. This is where the mind flows. I got to follow it. So thanks for listening. Appreciate God's just gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. As simple as it sounds, we all must try to be the best person we can by making the best choices, by making the most of the talents we've been given. Mary Lou Redden. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Lit. Lit. Lit.